Hey, whoever's on. Karen, hey girl. I'm looking for I'm looking so looking forward to tomorrow. I got everything ready. All the kits are cut. We're going to have some fun. I'm trying to see how to see y'all's comments and I can't. I can't see it. Oh, let's see. See what I can do. Watch party. There we go. Watch party. Hey, y'all share this as a watch party, please. Please and thank you. I'm still trying to see how to see y'all. Um, I'm messing around for about two more minutes because it's not quite 8 o'clock. But I needed to, to get some settings correct. And look, I wore my watch tonight. Woohoo, isn't that like adulting, right? Pinky, hey Pinky, how you doing? Hey Karen, now I'm seeing your comments. Woo, woo, okay, cool. So I'm trying to get this lighting. Oh, hey Beth, how you doing? Um, I've got about one minute till, till we're officially live. So I'm just straightening some, some things up right here. And actually, you know what? I'm supposed to be like this, I think. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. Oh dear. Oh, I'm upside down. Woo! All right, hold on. We'll try it a different way. See, I gotta play around for just a minute when I'm, just before I go live. Hold on. Okay, hey Wendy, I hope you can, um, hope you can hang with us for a little while. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm rotating. Here I go. Here I go. There we are. Hey y'all. Okay, it is just a couple of minutes until eight o'clock. So, um, I'm going to go, ha not a couple of minutes either. It's eight o'clock straight up. Woohoo! Hey Beth, good to see you here. Um, um, I'm holding my phone right now, but I'm, I'm going to put it in its little thing up here. Um, but I just wanted to thank y'all for coming to Monday Fun Days. It's, um, it's, we got some great projects tonight and I want to show you something really cool. Got a couple of cool things. Hey, Sheila, this is all about paper crafting and we're making some awesome things and y'all don't forget now I've got a store at kathybow.stampinup.net. It's K-A-T-H-Y. Hey, Pinky. And I also have a YouTube channel at the same name as this page here, Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. So, um, oh, oh, somebody had asked me about my lipstick. Now, y'all know, let me get rid of these glasses because there's a glare. Y'all know I am not a girly girl, right? Uh-huh, exactly. Like my shirt, 60 years bold, vintage 1958. Yeah, I mean, that's who I am. So, um, I was very surprised that a couple of people had asked me about my lipstick. I'll show you that in just a second. So, I'm going to put you in the little thing. Close your eyes so you don't get seasick. All right. And we go this way. And boom. Here we are. Okay. So, I'm sorry, y'all. Trying to get start, Trying to get underway here. Um, I've got a house full of grandchildren. And I'm a little bit kooky tonight. Okay, there we go. I'm so sorry for that, for that beginning. A couple of things I want to tell you um, before we get started. And it looks a little dark. Is that any better? Maybe so. Okay, yeah, that's better. Um, don't forget Paper Pumpkin. Today is the 8th. You have until the 10th to sign up and get the July kit. And this is a hint of what all is in it. Um, you're going to be able to coordinate it with several um, several different items in the catalog. The Come Sail Away um, stamps and the dies and the elements that go with that will coordinate with it. The Garden Lane Suite and Woven Threads. So this kit is $22 a month unless you're a demonstrator. And signing up with me now is $99 and you get $155 worth of your choice. I mean, y'all, this, I can't even say when they'll do this again. It, they just drop it on us and this um, offer for signing up for, for $99 and getting that much expires on, July, on August 31st. 
also when you sign up as a demonstrator you don't have to do a thing you don't have to run a business you don't have to do there's no stamping up police um, if you want to just buy the kit and get all your goodies and save you a bunch of money and not renew that's fine um, or if you want to meet your $300 per quarter you can at a discount buying the best stuff out there okay so that's a commercial done here's my store Here's my July host code. If you want to order any small item, I wouldn't say small. If your order is under $150, go in and place your order. Use this host code and be sure you're here. KathyBow.StampinUp.net. If it's over $150, put your order in separate so you will receive the host benefits. Okay, so tonight we are making bum, 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 little 3x3 three three cards. Okay, we have um, three by three cards and about three and an eighth by three and an eighth, just a little bit bigger envelopes. And I made this little adorable cow who says you're utterly fantastic. And this is a stamped piece of cardstock. What it is not is designer series paper. So I made it with this particular um, this particular stamp and the envelope I stamped a little cow on it I gave her eyelashes can you see your eyelashes yeah <laughs> so we're gonna make that oh but wait there's more this is our 8 o'clock one and this is our 830 one this is like a little gift that you can give to someone and this is so stinking cute I will show you what's in here my four-year-old grandson held this so I could close it and um, tie the little ribbon on there. But imagine the people you work with, and first of all, that's on an action wobble spring. You see that little spring? You have to get those on Amazon. This is the small one. They do have bigger ones. Um, but anyway, here's a little cow. He says, dream big. And it, most of them wobble really well. This one's kind of not. But anyway, it's a post-it note holder. And yeah, my markings are on there, but it was to show you. So isn't that just stinking adorable? I did not come up with this on my own. This is something that um, someone else came up with. So, oh, back to the lipstick. Um, a couple of people have asked me, it's Lip Sense, and my color is Nutmeg Lip Sense. It's pretty good stuff, y'all. I really like it. And this one is the Moisturizing Gloss, and it's called Rose Gloss. So... The two of these, they're kind of pricey, but I mean, they're worth it. They do stay on um, most of the day for me. I think my mouth runs a lot, and that keeps them from staying on. <laughs> okay, let me grab some glue because I left it over here. Please hold. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now, um, I needed the blue for something on him. Oh, yeah, to do my to do my thing. Let me see, did anybody comment? Are y'all got any questions? Uh, I'm trying to see the comments and I can't see anything. Okay, but I'm watching my time. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp the buffalo plaid onto our little squares, all right? So I would show you all the materials we're gonna use, but you'll just see those as we go. How about that? I've got two squares at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I just cut these on my Stampin' Trimmer. Um, nothing fancy, I, I, just, I just cut them, okay? So this is the Buffalo Check stamp. Um, it's, a, it's a background stamp. And this is kind of tricky. Um, I love it, and there's a sneak peek of the holiday catalog coming out. We're getting a small one and then a small other type of um, really cool background in one of the stamp sets, but I don't know much more than that about it. Um, this is stamped. That is stamped. Um, it seems to be easier with a um, vibrant, kind of a dense stamp, but I don't know. Um, I haven't had any problem with it. Um, you do want to stamp it a little bit more than your average. So, I don't know. Um, I'll show you how this works. And this is the Stamparatus. Um, it is a stamp positioning tool. 
and I love it. This does not come with it. This is um, this is from the lady who invented the Misty, M-I-S-T-I. The Misty is also a stamping positioning tool, but it only goes open and close. This one does so much more. You can go to my YouTube channel and see what all this does. Um, so much more. Like For example, I can pull this out, turn it around, and stamp with a different stamp, okay? And I can do that several times because I've got another plate that goes here. So, boom. All right. So, I'm going to use Blueberry Bushel. And I'm going to stamp up my little guy here. I wish I could see your comments. I can't see anything here, y'all. And I had trouble with that last time. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe... If I close that out, ah, oh, there we go. Hey, Tammy, Wendy, Sheila, Beth, Karen, Pinky. There. I don't know what happened, but now I can see all of you. And Beth, hey, hey. Okay, so we are going to use this juicy, juicy, um, uh, blue, whatever I said it is, blueberry bushel. And we're going to stamp this controversial, but I love it, stamp controversial because people have trouble with it but I, I mean you know we're kind of the world of instant gratification right so this one you've just got to use a little bit more of it all right I did write on this side so I'm going to put it here and let's see hmm maybe I'll do like this and see how I do maybe like that okay we'll see I don't know um I'll take this one out. I got one under here for some reason. Let me just move that too. I don't even know why I put that there. Okay, I bet I'll figure it out later and be like, man. Okay, so um, I am going to mark this so I'll know exactly where they belong. Just in case I have to restamp, which I will. It would be easier if I just stamped a big sheet and then cut it. But, you know. What can I say? We'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm just going to go stamp. Ah, oh, see, I missed part of it. Okay, all right, hold on. Please hold. That's cute. All right, let's pick this up. Oh, all right, we're going to do this different. See, here we go. I'm just going to put my little magnet there, my little magnet here, and we're going to stamp away, and then we'll trim it. And, of course, I'll have to go get my trimmer. Y'all, I'm, I'm a little crazy tonight. I've got a house full of kids, and it's wonderful. All, not all my grandchildren, but several of my grandchildren are here, and they've been, they've been having a ball. Ninja Man has taken them to the pool outside. He's um, cooked them lunch. I've been in here working because I've got my, um, my ladies are coming tomorrow from church, to make all the things. Hey, Linda. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Hans. Hey, Linda Patrick. Linda Sullivan. Kristen. Boy, all of y'all, thank you for being here. Okay, so I put that down. Now, you see, this is what frustrates people. But hey, with the Stamparatus, you, it's a stamp positioning tool, so your paper stays in the same place, and your... You just keep you just keep stamping it okay and now I'm having to just press a little bit more normally you're not gonna have to do all this normally you're just gonna stamp it one time and you're good to go so we got just a little I'm gonna do one more and see how we like it and I just need like you know the very middle of it I don't know okay and don't, ah, oh, shoot, I'm doing it on the wrong color, but that's okay. I should have done it on this blue that I brought over here, y'all. I think I'm just a little bit tired. What do y'all think? I have not had that wine that I was threatening to have earlier. Okay, so you'll see, if I wanted to keep going, I could clear that up. But look how pretty this is in the middle. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Love it, love it. But we're going to trim it down anyway, so it's not a biggie. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy over here and grab my trimmer. Please hold. Like I said, I've had a little bit of confusion today. I've been in here all day trying to get things finished for 
tonight and for tomorrow. And it's been a little crazy. All right, so what size did I say those were? Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I'm going to go two and three quarters. Yada. And two and three quarters. We'll see, we'll see how I do. All right. So there's that. And then two and... It looks like we're going to have something interesting going here. We might go a little smaller than two and three quarters. Let's see. Yeah, we might. Okay, so I'm just going to go a little smaller because I left these edges on. But you know what? There's no real mistakes in art, right? We're going to call it art. There you go. Everything's intentional, right? Okay. This one might even be bigger. Oh, well, that's okay. So I'm going to close this because you see the ink all over my hands. I've been at this all day. Okay. So instead of having the little light blue background because I've boo-booed every which way I could tonight, this, um, this card is going to have a white and blue plaid background. That's okay. We can do that. All right. And the post-it note holder will also have that because I ain't doing this again. Okay, so we are going to take a, that's the other one, let's see, three inch by, three inch by six inch, that's this one. It's three inches this way and it's six inches this way. And hi, Sandra, glad to see you here. And we're going to just do it just like this. And I think I'll do it this way because I want to cover up that pencil mark. I'm going to do this. And y'all, this is one of those days. Um, do I have my bone folder? Eh, probably. I pro really probably have it right there in the basket. Okay, so I'll erase that later. And I'm just going to put this like this. Okay. So here's my model. I'm going to put him here. And I'm going to use my um, snail adhesive, which I'll be honest, this is Michael's adhesive because I don't have time to wait for my snail to get here. Um, I have to kind of just do what I can do. Um, I ran out of snail. So I'm using Michaels, and there we go. It, it's still going to be cute. Okay, so we got the background, and now I need the cow, the cow. And you can do anything, like, like you could do a Christmas thing, you could do a birthday, um, you could do guy stuff. I mean, Stampin' Up! has a card set just for guys. It's really cool. Well, not necessarily just for guys, but it's um, cars and you know, mechanic looking stuff. Pretty cool. And is that not adorable? Look at my hand, y'all. Look at my hand. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know. But I'm wearing jeans, so I can go wipe it off. Okay, all right. So this card says cows, so I am going to stamp my cows. Oh, what set is this, you wonder? It is called Over the Moon. And this little guy is adorable, and he's got his little, his little um, thinking bubble above him. And he's laying there thinking, and it says, dream big. Isn't that cute? That's our 830 project. And it's 817, so we're doing good, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to use this, um, the little cow holding the flower. This little girl here. And get the this and y'all are going to be so surprised at how fast this goes when I start coloring her. I want to stamp her in soft suede and she's it's so easy to stamp these. They're not difficult stamps at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp her. Look how look how perfect that is. My goodness. Okay. And I'm going to clean it. This is the Stampin' Mist and it goes with the Stampin' Scrub. And you just spray this on here like this. 
and you've got a wash side and a dry side and I'm just going to scrub it here and then scrub it here. Doodly do. There we go. All right. Now, all right. Um, we're going to take her off because we're done. We'll put her back in the back in the cow shed. No. All right. And now we got this cutie patootie. I hope patootie's not politically incorrect. Patootie. All right. We're going to put him there. How cute is that? All right. And I'm going to grab my... Big shot. And this, this is my, my big shot. It's a die cutting machine. And I'll tell you what, if you ever want your husband to get interested in what you're doing, whip out the big shot because guys love this thing. Okay. I mean, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but I have yet to find a guy that's not like, that is so cool and want to do all the, all the big shoddy stuff. Okay, so we are going, I'm not going to go into the long education on the Big Shot. If you want to know more about it, go to my YouTube channel, Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. And I do a whole thing on the Big Shot. I believe it's in the Stamping 101 series. And you get to see what it's all about. Most of what it's all about is making a huge impression because you take that stamped image and boom, it's just stinking adorable with, with stitches all around it, right? That's because I'm using the stitch shape framelits. They do not come in this container. I moved them to this container. But they have these cute little stitches all around them like this. And it gives the effect of stitches, of course, because it's stitched. You know, really, I should have colored it first, but hey, it's that kind of night, y'all. It is that kind of night. It is Monday Fun Days, and we have no mistakes here on Monday Fun Days, right? It's just fun. Fun. And it's getting funner and funner <laughs> as we go. Okay, I really did put that out of the way so I won't fall over it. But let's just keep scoring in case I do. How about that? Let's see. Thank you, Sandra, that you, that you said the card is cute. Thank you. Okay, um, so let's color our cows. How many times have you heard a farmer say that? I'm going to go color my cows. All right, I got my Stampin' Right markers. You can buy these in a whole big old set. And tell all your friends to come and color with you because it's fun. All right, so we're just going to blow through this really quick. I'm just going to go yada, 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 yada. I promise it's not going to take a long time. I went darker in the middle of the flower. I'm going to take the brown and just dot the flower because maybe it's a sunflower, maybe it's not. I don't know. And then she gets blonde hair. And, oh, where's her gray? Come on, here's the gray. It was hiding. You know, it was hiding. I'm just going to go little gray horns. What else do we need yellow? Let's see. We'll do his hair yellow, too. I really don't remember what I did on him. Oh, he did have brown hair, but that's okay. He's got a yellow bell. Now, if you wanted to take the time to, you could heat emboss that bell and make it all shiny. That would be cute. Cute, cute. I'm not going to make the envelope because y'all see how to do it. Um, thank you, Pinky. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, too. And I'll tell you, I have been loving this set all day today. All right, so I did use this. Um, oh, that yellow was, please hold, it was Daffodil Delight. And this is Sahara Sand. I'm going to, this guy, see his colors? I don't know if you can see that. See his colors? Um, I'm just going to do him in Sahara Sand because it's kind of like, like a grayish or black spot on him, right? But he's still getting pink hooves. Okay, and she's getting brown spots. This is her. And she's getting yada yada. How much?
much is that cute cow in the window? The one with the, what's he got? Pointy horns. How much is that cute cow in the window? Okay. And then, oh, I love her green boots, y'all. These green boots are stinking adorable. Let's see, how are we on time? Oh, 823. I'm going to get on through this. Get on through it, and then we're going to give her some pink hooves and pink hooves and some pink in her nose and pink in that nose. I call those each noses. And then we'll pink in her ear and we'll pink in this ear. Pink and pink. Little pinks and pinks. We're going to put pink feet, pink hooves. And then I'm going to take this green and I'm going to green her little leaves. And I'm going to put just a little bit of green up under her feet to kind of ground her. And he gets these little, these little sprigs of grass, kind of like this. I don't know why he's a he and she's a she, but, you know, there we go. All right? So there we go. Now, we're going to take this card that we made, and, of course, you know, I would do it bigger. I would, mm -hmm, whatever. And then we're going to put her here, okay? And where's my, here it is. It has a leash because I'm supposed to stick it in my shirt, but I keep losing it while it's on my shirt. Okay. We are going to put her right here. That was so cute. I cannot stand the cuteness. Okay, and then, and then, I'm going to stamp, what are you? You're utterly fantastic. Let me find you. Is that the one? You're utterly fantastic, yes. Okay, we're gonna do that in brown. And we're gonna use our brand new punch but I'm going to do something special with it. Uh-oh. Let's do that again. I'm going to put that right here. There we go. That looks better. Okay. And my punch is right here. This is the brand new classic lab label punch. I just got it the other day. And hey, Robin. So good to see you here. Thank you for hanging out. Okay. So anytime you use these punches, first of all, they're like a clamshell. And they lock down so you can put them on your shelf and it's easy peasy. And then you unlock them and they go, yump, yump, yump. And you look down in them and you don't have to say, yump, 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 but it helps, okay? You look down in them to see how you want to punch and you go, punch. And doesn't that make me look smart? Okay, don't say if it doesn't because I'm thinking it does. And I'm, I really need to go to sleep tonight thinking I look smart. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going to cut that off. Uh-oh. And, okay, it must be a hot potato. Cut this off and then cut this off, okay? And it says your and then utterly fantastic because uh, it was too big to go on my whole card. All right, so I'm just going to go across here and stick that one on. And then this one here is right there. I'm going to stick this on. There we go. There's our little card. And you put it, the little envelope with it. How stinking cute is that? Okay. 826. I got four minutes left to finish this little idea. Okay. There's a couple of things you can do here. You could put this big one here on an action wobble spring that you have to get from um, Amazon because Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them yet. I hope one day they will. Um, but it makes them wiggle and wobble like this. I'm, I'm about to do this one at 830, so y'all stick around. See how that kind of wiggles? It's not as good as some of them. I think the wire's a little tight there. But, yeah, it wiggles. So, yeah, you could do that. Um, you could tuck the, the Utterly Fantastic up under her a little bit. You could not get blue on the word your, which I did because, hello, the blue. Okay, so let's do this guy right here, okay? This is the note, um, post-it note holder. How cute is this? And 
I will show you how I made it, unless I just chopped it up, which I hope I didn't. Okay, here we go. This is not my design. The other cow was, but and this cow is, but I'm saying the, the actual design of this note holder is not. There's a variation that has a piece of cardstock coming out right here where you've sliced it, and, and it loops up, and you can put one of those little pins in. I have several of those. Um, it, it just kind of pops it up a little bit more if you want to give these as gifts at work or teachers or, um, you know, friends at your doctor's office. Friends at your doctor's office. Like, you're all friends with your doctor's office. Um, but you know what I mean. So, anyway, this, this is the um, basic variety. And this is three and a quarter this way by six and three quarters that way. And now I'm gonna score it at three eighths, three and an eighth, and three and five eighths. This is the current stamp and trimmer that trims and scores. So I'm gonna say three and one eighth is right here. Maybe we'll see when I get done, see if I screw this up, let's see. Quarter, yeah, this should be an eighth. And then three and five eighths. So a half is four eighths. There's five eighths. We hope. We'll see. Anything can happen, right? Okay, so I've scored those. Can you see my score lines? I hope so. And let's see. Hey, Melissa, glad you joined us. Okay, so I'm going to um, fold this here and here. All right. And that's what's going to hold our little post-it notes. They're going to go in just like this. Well, mine's a little thick right now. Let's see. I just pulled some off of a pad, so we'll see. There we go. That fits a little better. Okay? And we are going to put, lay it flat for right now, put our little gingham check here it's really called buffalo something. Buffalo. Buffalo. Hold on. Buffalo check. How hard was that? Buffalo check. All right. And I'm just going to put that there. And I want to take my little guy here. And I've got some things to show y'all after this that's really cool. And I'll be doing um, a YouTube live on them soon. All right, so I'm putting him here, and now I've got my Action Wobble Spring. That's what this is, Action Wobble. And the um, hard plastic part here goes down onto the base of your of your project, and then the, the more flexible one goes against your, um, your feature piece, okay? So we are going to stamp the, the little cow's thought bubble here. And we want that in brown, which is the soft suede. We are going to stamp a room. And I'm oh, that was where I messed up. But you know what? That's okay. I can stamp it right here because I'm just going to cut it out real quick. Now, everybody here thinks they know how to cut out, right? I sure did. Okay, when you're cutting things out, first of all, I'm just going to make that a point. When you're cutting things out, you don't move your scissors like this. That will wear you out. What you want to do, get rid of the big piece, and you just want to move your project around your scissors. It's just so much easier. Your, um, your hand's not having to get all fatigued from it. And um, this is actually called fussy cutting because we don't have a die for this. So they call it fussy just because, you know. Um, so I'm going to give it a big pink heart in the middle. He got a red heart, and this one's getting a pink one because it's just a pink heart. I don't know. All right. And then we're going to stamp Dream Big. Dream Big. Mm -hmm. Sweet chariot. Okay. He's not really singing that. All right. Hold on. We're going to do this in brown also. And we are going to stamp it right here. Yes, I've got the other stamp still on there, but I'm just saving a little time here, y'all. Little crazy day. Little crazy day over here. All right. And then I am just going to snip it. Okay. Just like this. Boop. 
Those kids are being so sweet. I asked them to be quiet. Then I threatened their very lives. And lo and behold, they're just so quiet. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, and you see, I'm just reusing stuff because the... Um, the cardstock with Stampin' Up is really good. For, I mean, like you can, you can do all kinds of, all kinds of reusing stuff here. All right, we're just gonna put that right here. So it looks like he's dreaming. See? Okay. And then I'm going to take my little action wobble spring right here. I'll wait till y'all see what I got to show you after this. It's so amazing. Okay, we're gonna put that there. And, and by the way, don't forget, you can join my um, Stampin' Up! team, and you don't have to sell a thing. Just scarf up all the goodies. Um, I put, come on now, what is that? I put the hard part on toward the card, and I'm putting that there. And now we have that. Isn't that adorable? Aren't they cute? It'd be great if I'd done it right. But that's okay. And then... You just glue your pad into it like this, and you can give that as a gift, and I'll show you again how cute it is as a little gift. Kind of pull this to the back. Oh good, we are so good on time because I really want to show you all some fabulous things, and I got them right there. Don't go away. They're pretty awesome. All right, here we go. Yeah, so what I was saying was $99 gets you $155 worth of anything you want in the catalog when you sign up as a demonstrator. If you say, Kathy, I want to be the world's best Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I will help you in every way I possibly can. If you say, I just want to be a hobbyist and maybe sell something now and then, well then you let me know what you need. I'm not going to bug you. But then if you say... I just want to be a hobbyist. I just want to buy all the things. I'll be like, hey, let's do that. And um, lo and behold, you get to buy all the things at a discount, right? So let's just say you want to give this as a sweet little gift to somebody. Isn't that just adorable? My, uh, my oldest grandson used to say adorable. And he's adorable, so yeah. And then maybe you'll put a little card with it to say, move over, I've got you a gift. See how cute that would be? I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. So I want to show y'all some really cool stuff here. Oh, look at my store. It's just blowing away in the wind. All right. Let me move all of this. We're not going to make this tonight because it is quite a thing. I had planned to, but I kind of thought I'd probably, probably bore y'all after some point because it was hard to just to just make it and um anyway okay this is the original one this thing is from 2014 and i have had it on display in my studio for five years um what's her name ah oh, come on what's her name of course it's over there um creating with christ um um, um any of my any of my friends out there Karen, I know, right? I thought I should get a job too, and then I just decided I'll just quit eating. Um, creating with Christ. Rhonda. Rhonda, R-O-N-D-A. Okay, it'll come out in a minute. Rhonda Wade. This is her project that I did um, in one of her kits. And then I created my own. So I just, I just want you to see. It's got one, two, three, four cards in here. If you want to see them, I'll show you. All of this is retired paper. All the products are retired, the stamps are retired, but I mean, how cute are these? And you can, I mean, you can use, you can make these with our current um, project. I mean, our current products, you just, you know, get a little more creative. I mean, isn't that awesome? And I still have some of this stuff left, but okay, so it's a little box and it keeps all of your cards and four envelopes. Now, I made it to, um, with my, probably my favorite set in the catalog. My most favorite set that I've had in the catalog for years. And it's this one. This is the Sailing Away. Um, I think I bought every single thing I could for this kit. I love it so stinking much. Um, this ribbon right here is some I had in my stash 
I'm not sure if it was Stampin' Up or not, but I want to show you a few things. Um, first of all, this little wheel right here, the, for lack of better <laughs> term here, the steering wheel of the ship, okay, um, it is not a stamp. This is a die cut. And what I did, I took my heat embossing um, supplies and I had a piece of cardstock, all right, and I covered it with Versamark, which is what makes your heat embossing stick. And then I put the heat embossing powder on it and I just heat embossed that whole thing. So I had just a big old piece of gold, shiny, embossed paper. All right, cardstock. Then I came back and I just cut it out. After it cooled off, which doesn't take but a minute, I cut it out with my Big Shot. This is a die. It was so cool. I loved it because I created all of that just out of a piece of cardstock and some powdered stuff. So then I stamped this one and heat embossed it. Through, you know, the shape of the stamp. And then this right here is just plain old stamp on uh, cardstock and I punched it out with whatever size punch that is okay then this one was one of the um, circle dies the stitched circle dies and this is the bigger stitch circle die and they lay one on top of the other okay so then I had um, this tab type of a punch that um, I was able to no 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 this wasn't a punch this was a die and it's shaped, it shaped like a, you know, long oval. And I punched it, and then I punched holes. I don't know if you can see up under there, there's, there's a hole. And just punched through it, and then I put my um, jute kind of ribbon through it like this. And there we have the little box. I did um, find the pattern of this box. Um, I had, I had it on a. Uh, piece of paper that I'd be happy to send to anybody that requests it. And I, I love it. I just love it. Um, this is great. Again, Rhonda Wade. That's it, Pinky. Thank you. Yes, Rhonda Wade. I wonder what I said earlier. I hope I said Wade. So um, this was back in 2014. It, it, that date was on the instructions. And I have to give her credit because I didn't come up with this. But I did design the cards inside. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay. All right, here we go. I used the, um, there's a Memories and More cardstock, uh, I'm sorry, card pack. And typically it is for the, um, like, scrapbooking or something like that. But look, you can use them for your cards. This is a Memory More card. This is a sticker out of that same set. And we have the um, piece of the ribbon that I had. I mean, this took no time. Like, this is the kind of card you're like, oh, I don't have a card. And you run in your studio and you make a card. And, and everybody's like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? Okay, you can stamp a sentiment on the inside. And of course, you can put envelopes. You know, you would. You would put envelopes with it. I've got the envelopes right here. And you can stamp your envelopes to match if you want to. Stamping up envelopes are real. I, I mean, I got no way, no other way to explain it but soft. They they have a uh, just a soft sheen to them, um, which I have not really seen, you know, anywhere else. I mean, like I said, that's that's the reason I do all this is because of um, Stampin' Up's amazing products. Okay, so here's another one. Let's go somewhere and do something. How about all of us? Let's just get on a ship somewhere and go somewhere. A ship somewhere and go somewhere. Yeah, okay, that works. Um, a lot of the people with Stampin' Up are, not a lot, probably 50, I guess, um, they've made, you know, the high achiever thing, and they are literally, as we speak, they are on a ship right now heading to Greece. And um, I'm not bitter, not bitter. I'm happy for them. But, you know, it'd be nice if they brought me something. <laughs> I don't really know. Any well, I do. I know a couple of them. Um, so this, these are just stickers that come with that Memories and More pack. And it's in the catalog. It's not expensive at all. And again, you can stamp a sentiment right in there, whatever. And it's got an envelope to go with it. Here we go. Here's another. Memories and More is just a card and then a sticker. I mean, there's no stamping. I have not stamped. 
Y'all know I love to stamp and get all inky, but you don't even have to be a stamper. You know, you just, how simple, right? So, let's see, I'm trying to see y'all's, there you are. Okay, so it's super easy. All right, and then here's the last one, and this is my favorite because of this little guy here. Um, first of all, this this is, um, uh, let's see, it's uh, twine, I think it's called. Oh, goodness, I left it all over there. Um, but it is, I want to say Sahara Sand, Pinky, correct me, correct me here, um, Sahara Sand and Knight of Navy. Am I right, Pinky? Um, and then the little element from, um, you'll see it in the catalog, there's a ship's wheel and then there's the anchor. And I, clearly I love anchors, right? I mean, yeah. So then, you know, you stamp your envelopes if you want to, you don't have to, whatever. And then you put them all together. And this box would actually hold probably three times as much if you wanted to squeeze them in here. Oh, I gotta get all my little things out. Okay. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you some of the elements that I used. These are the, the circles that I did. This was because I honestly was thinking about making this for y'all, but then I thought, no, it's going to take a full hour just to do this. And I'd rather do, uh, you know, one project and then work into the next project. So you can see how varied your stamps can be and your, and your, um, supplies can be because like in that first one first we made a card and then we made a gift I mean how cool is that the card and the gift and then if you wanted to do the same thing with this kind of thing you know you got a guy boss or whatever I mean I'm not a guy but I love 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 this stuff I love nautical stuff okay so this is one of the dies and it's a stitch shape and my four-year-old grandson's playing in the sink in the bathroom. And there's nothing I can do because I'm live. Um, yeah, so what I did, I just bent these in half to make these. Can y'all hear him singing? He's adorable, y'all. Blonde-headed, just as cute as he can be. And, and I just, I glued them on like this. And then I punched them. And it punched, I have just a paper punch, you know, just... Hey, Melody, if you want to go back to the very beginning, you'll see all the things. Hey, Holly, Baker's Twine. Thank you, Pinky. I, see, Pinky, I have to have half a brain on here with me because my friend Heather cannot be on with me tonight, um, and she's half my brain, so now you're nominated. Okay, so you can either put it like this, or you can push it. Let me do it on this side. You can push it all the way down, however you want to do it, just like this. Either way, you're just going to put your um, strings through there, and um, and there you go. Boo. And you've got yourself just a sweet little gift, and who wouldn't want something like this full of cards that they can send to somebody else? And again, this was the original. This was um, from Rhonda Wade, and it was one of her kits that um, she taught how to do. And I got it through the mail. And I'll be doing that sort of thing soon. I'm going to be doing some kits that I make. And I will be sharing those with you as soon as I get them done. So do I have any questions on here? Any questions? I'm looking through your comments. Baby, can you go turn the fan off in there? Can you come by my part? Oh, can I go? <laughs> he, needs, <laughs> he needs his sweet little fanny wiped. <laughs> Hold on just a <laughs> John? <laughs> Y'all, only me, right? Please hold. John? <laughs> what do you do? There's no grown-up in the house but me. Um, Jack, can you wait just a minute? <laughs> Y'all, I don't even know what to do with this. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, y'all know I'm a grandma. I got it. Th priorities are priorities so stick with me if you can if you can't I'll be back in, a, in just a minute oh my goodness John <laughs> okay buddy here I come hold on here I come
this. All right, buddy. Oh, gosh. I'm back. Oh, y'all stayed. <laughs> Grandma moments. <laughs> hey, Vicky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Go take care of that sweetie I did. <laughs> Okay, go find Papa Bo and tell him to come take care of Jack. <laughs> I did. I took care of him, but now he needs his clothes put back on. Oh, y'all. Okay. I got it. Oh, he's got it. Never mind. He's got it. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. So, did anybody have any questions about this project? That's not Papa Bo. That's that's me trying to be live over here. Can you go find Papa Bo? Tell him you're lonely and you need him. I don't know you, baby monkey. Out. <laughs> Out. Okay, anyway. Um, y'all, I'm sorry. That that was just that was too funny and I, I really don't think you could have paid for that, right? I mean, that was very special. All right, so we have these here, and I will be doing a YouTube video on how to make these, giving full credit to Rhonda Wade. I can't breathe. <laughs> I know, Karen. Oh, Karen, and you know, I mean, these things happen to me. Heather's going to die when she reads it, when she sees this. <laughs> Best hour each week. Oh, y'all. Oh. Okay. So, um. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Okay. I'll be doing a YouTube video on these with full credit to Rhonda Wade. And, and we'll learn how to, how to do all of this. But the, the really unique thing about this is I was able to use the memories and more. And just the, the embellishment, which you don't even have to buy the embellishments. But I liked it. And the, um, the Baker's Twine, which is, I think it's Night of Navy and Sahara Sand or something like that. And it's because it's not quite white, if you can see. It's just got a little aged look to it. So um, I love that color. And now you could pop, you could boost up this card. Oh, poor Heather. She, I'm not going to warn her, Tammy, and don't you either. Just tell her something fabulous happened on my video. Pinky! <laughs> Y'all look at Pinky's comment. That is hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so you could... I don't think I can recover, y'all. So, you could, you could put this in an embossing folder, you know, and run that through and then put this on. Um, you could... There's a lot you could do here. You could spritz this with your, um, your glittery stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. To step this one up, I would have used a uh, crumb cake or Sahara sand uh, piece of cardstock on the back of it here. Um, do, <laughs> do a video with beautiful friendship. Oh yeah, that would be good. Let me write that down. Beautiful friendship. All right. If I have it, I sure will. I'll check it. Check and see. Um, but yeah, to step this one up here, I think I would probably stamp something here and here. We have a really neat set that, um, that has individual letters and they're not nearly as hard to, um, to, uh, there's no get, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even with it, Karen. I'm so not with it. Um, <laughs> but you can, um, line your letters up with the, um, Stamparatus and, do that. I would do that to step that one up. Um, maybe put some Knight of Navy cardstock around here just to pop out this this dark blue. Um, this one here. Uh, gosh. I have told everybody I'm going to be live from eight to nine. Do not call me. Do not do anything. And yet they are. They are. Okay, who can bring me some wine? That's what I want to know. How close friendship are we? Tammy, you can drive down here. I'm serious. I'm I'm in need right now. I'm going to need I'm going to need more than just, you know, my fair share. So, I would put some yellow here to make it look like the lighthouse is doing its thing and maybe 
add some color here, maybe stamp some uh, birds here or something like that. Put some of these um, handmade embellishments like this on here. I mean, there's a lot of ways to step this card up, but otherwise it's super simple. That was already sticky on the back side. I just put a little glue there and stamped this. I mean, I put this on with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Sandra's in Mississippi. That is no excuse, Sandra. Karen, bring it. Bring it, Karen. N yes, Tammy, I want you. All of y'all, Zia says, no, uh-uh, no. Tell Zia I need it. Tell Zia I need Show him this video. He will bring it. <laughs> y'all. Nobody's even going to believe this. Okay, so that's why it's Monday Fun Days. You never know what you're going to get. <sighs> okay, let's clean our stamps. I've already cleaned a fanny. Let's clean our stamps. Please hold. <sighs> okay, okay. Enough about that. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. Oh, I can't. Okay, so what do you do when you got a big old stamp like this to clean? Well, you just clean the dang thing. <laughs> okay, um, there are other ways than this, but I'm already covered in blue, so why not, right? I mean, why not? Why not? Oh, my way. Yes! Sandra's bringing wine. Sweet. Don't know if the wine will make it. <laughs> oh, I love it. A wine haul straight from Mississippi. All right, so I'm using my little stamping mist here. Y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. And I know what's going on. My husband's got all the kids out there at the... Uh, oh, wait. Pinky's what now? Pinky's in uh, Warner Robins. Okay, Pinky can bring some wine. Um, my husband's out there at the fire pit. And um, he's got all the kids making s'mores. Except for one kid who decided to have a digestive moment during my video. I know, right? Isn't that hysterical? Okay, I'm just trying to clean this, and I, I promise I did better with the child. I promise. <laughs> All right, that's clean. Now let's do these. Da -da -da, da -da -da. This is the wash side. This is the dry side. And it's cheesy, but this is the cheapest washer and dryer you'll ever, you'll ever have to buy. The cheapest washer and dryer. Let's try and keep our stamps on here. Hold on. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the cow now. Don't forget, ninety nine dollars. You can join and get all the stuff, and then never buy again if you don't want to, or buy all the things and keep buying them. It's up to you, y'all. We are on a fixed income, and I still buy them because, well, it's either that. Or, I mean, it keeps me off the streets. I will be honest; it keeps me off the dang streets. Y'all just witnessed my life. That is how things go. Oh, y'all. Okay, I'm going to show you these last things again. Boom and boom. Put him there. No. And boom. And I don't even know where my other card went. I really don't. Here's an envelope. <laughs> I really don't know where. I'm serious. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. And then these guys right here. So this is this is my my little dude my little stuff tonight y'all. Thank you so much for visiting and please visit my store. Um use this host code if you do plan to order anything. Get in touch with me if you need any help with that and I'll be happy to help you. And um goodness gracious, y'all are precious for sticking out with me. And um and let's see Karen, okay, Pinky, Pinky Sandra, Pinky. Okay, thank you guys all for being here, and especially through the craziness. <laughs> Love y'all. God bless. Karen, I'll see you tomorrow. Can't wait. Toodles. Oh, and there won't be any wine. <laughs> I won't say why. <laughs>